Good morning. Can you hear me? Good. All right. Live your life to the fullest. Live like it's your last day. Live, love, laugh. Who hasn't heard these and many more? We're told all our lives to live vividly, fully, greatly, or with what other adverb you'd like to attach. But what does it all mean? Okay, so an adverb modifies a verb, right? But how can we address the adverb without understanding the verb? How can we live fully if we don't actually know what it means to live? Now, you must be thinking, she's only 20 years old. She can't possibly have this figured out. That's true. I don't have all the answers, and I'm still trying to figure this all out. I can only share with you what I've learned so far. And it's up to you to, to decide if my story resonates. First, let me share with you how I became so fascinated by the concept of living. I grew up in a spiritual, spiritual tradition called unity. This is part of the New Thought movement and allows for a lot of eclecticism. I won't go into detail, but catch me after if you're the curious type. My unity background encouraged positivity and being in the moment. I was taught that life is an important quality, a power even, that every person has. Long before I ever learned this doctrinal tidbit, I knew I wanted to be one of those people who lives life. At the time, that meant I was going to grow up, travel the world, explore and do whatever I want to do. Needless to say, my understanding of the world and personal finances was a little underdeveloped at the time. <laughs> As I grew up, though, my spirituality deepened. And my concepts of society, people, and adulthood developed more. There was a bigger picture, and I was just starting to see it. Okay, so if I'm alive now, that means I'm living. But if I'm living in a literal sense, shouldn't I also be living in a metaphorical sense? Shouldn't I be doing more than existing to live another day? Maybe the quotes and country songs I grew up with were right. Maybe I should start exploring this whole living thing. My findings were incredibly simplistic in nature but of course, far more complex in practice. It's not always that way. To live meant to take advantage of each and every day. For me, that means being happy, enjoying my life as I'm living it, and learning to appreciate my experiences. Sure, it's hard to face a bad day, and they come every now and then. And sometimes I can only appreciate a bad day in retrospect and as a lesson learned. But I don't want to long for the good old days, and I don't want to be caught up in a dream of tomorrow. I want to experience my days right here, right now. I'm only 20 once, right? Now, remember what I said about unity teaching life was a power? Well, I can say now, as I come to an, the end of my sophomore year of college, that life is a power. It's the power to choose between literally and metaphorically living. We're, what, three, four weeks from the end of the semester now? It's starting to blur together. Something like that, though. So now I want to present a question to all of you. In this seemingly crazy time, are you living or are you just existing? <laughs>